Hello everyone, Draven Orts Productions here, and today we're going to be doing another review. And the review is going to be on the Thompson Friends Motorized All Around Soda Deluxe Set. I got this for Christmas, and it includes some 90 pieces, so that's very amazing. It comes with a talking Thomas and Percy, and some push-along engines, including a rainbow-exclusive Thomas. And then you can see at the back... You could read this whenever you want. And it says, Hosty the cargo and hits the rails. And I sure like the new style of this packaging, especially the barcode where Thomas was climbing on it. And then on the top of this box, it says something like this. Say hello to friends you know. And... I am not going to be reading the contents right down under there, otherwise the video is going to take too long. So, yeah, because if I did build this set entirely, the video is going to take much longer than I thought. And yes, I did open the set because if I, if I did take it out, it will take too long. So yeah, you can kind of see why I have to build this like about in like about in two days or probably like about a day because I did a few of it yesterday and now I got every now I got the whole set complete. So I'll go ahead and unbox these ones. Even though Thomas and Percy could talk. Well, it just took me like about in a few minutes, and this is the hardest opening to get one of these engines that I ever seen in my life. All right, so let's take a look at Thomas first. So he looks very amazing and pretty good. This is exactly look like from season. This is look. This is exactly look like from. Season 23 to season 24 of the rivets. They are very amazing. And I don't mind if the numbers were big. They have the speaker and the coal looks very good. And it looks like real coal. It looks pretty good. The whisk and the sticker looks pretty good. I don't even know if you can see it. They added little rivets there. And... The face on Thomas is good, the lamp is pretty good, and everything looks amazing. And for Percy, he looks pretty good with the rivet details too. And I don't mind for the the I don't mind for his nut for his number six if it was big. Same with Thomas's number one. And the rivets are pretty good and amazing. Now, some Thomas, some Thomas fans thought it was a little bit weird to have the characters upgraded in rivet details. But look at the Railway series. They had rivets too. So why does the Railway series characters and what? And, um the upgraded CGI characters weren't any different. So yeah, the characters in one of Christopher Audrey's railway series books or something, they do have they do have rivets. And it really has the coal load there. So yeah. Looks very amazing. Yeah, like I said before, I like the rivets that they gave them from season 23 and 24. So, yeah, I mean, look at the railway series of Christopher Audrey's books. They had rivets too. So, why does the railway series and the and and the upgraded rivets on them or any different? 
So yeah, that was the talking Thomas and Percy. But now, now let's move on to the push lungs real fast. So Emily is normal and she doesn't even have the number 12, which is lazy. And yeah, I still have my custom version of the number 12. So I'm keeping this second Emily. And for my first one, it's going to be turned into a custom. And for Rebecca, it's the same thing. Same goes to Nia as well. And for the Rainbow Thomas, it looks pretty good and very amazing. Yeah, because he is exclusive to this deluxe set. And for James and Gordon, they're still the same thing. So I might I might keep them. The cars with the loads are pretty good, like this male cargo thing. Yeah, and it literally has the, the male sticker on there, as well as the Blue Mountain Quarry face there. And then, and then the rock, which you do something to the Blue Mountain Quarry Tunnel, to Henry's Tunnel. I don't even mind if, if, if this tunnel is a cloth tunnel. I don't even mind for that. I mean, it gives it a little bit of detail, just adding some sheep and some things. And for the troubles and trucks, they look pretty good. They have textures, they have rivets, and they added silver wheels. Everything looks very good. And even comes with a, with a crab crate and even a lobster crate which we might get to someone later. And they added the wobbly mechanism on the trucks. So that is amazing. It looks like they're causing trouble for the engines because they are troublesome. Yeah, I like this feature. And as for the windmill, it looks really good. And it's very amazing. So what you did do with it, It's pretty amazing. Or maybe if you could really do this and have an engine go through like this. Yeah, that is a pretty good feature into it. It is basically based on Ruth's windmill or, or Ruth's workshop. This is something that we get in the show. And we have Bullstrode, and he looks pretty good, and I put the sticker placement, and the roof is painted on there because it is such an improvement over the other Bullstrode with the unpainted roof. It's very amazing how it is, and it really has the green line sign. And for the signals, they're pretty good, and, and it does say Nafford Station on there, and I don't mind for that. And for the Vickerstown Bridge, this looks really good. Very good. I like it very much. It's very amazing. This is something that this is something that I never get something like this. This is definitely going to be used. And for the Natford Station signals, they're going to be used in Natford Station once I get the push long version, that is. And very nice of one of those billboards like Travel Sodor. You can see Thomas and Bullstrode and then the Vickerstown Bridge. And then the other billboard, it says take the train. Yeah, the engines were at Natford Station. And it has the blue line sign. And... And this is the model of Cranky. This looks very amazing with the angry, cranky face. And I can understand why they just gave him a gear on the top. Just because you could really load and unload stuff like this. And it really has this little thing right here. In case if you really want to sling Cranky about. Yeah. Slinging him about. The rivets are amazing on him. Looks very good. Very good. 
Yeah, they usually made him with a smile, so... Yeah, I prefer... Yeah. Maybe I prefer this one because it looks pretty amazing and good. Yeah. And also, this is how the layout really looks like. This is how it looks like. And it's very long and very huge because they have destinations to go. Like... Henry's Tunnel to the Blue Mountain Quarry Tunnel because you can just drop you could just you can just literally drop one of those rocks and put and put them in there and then it will do something like this. Oh wait, it just failed. Alrighty, let's do this again. And it's still failing. I wonder what happens if I try to go on the other way. Yes, it works. And also, I unscrewed them and you could see they had batteries in it, so that's a plus. And some type of brand, I mean, yeah, probably it's some type of brand of batteries. So yeah, sometimes they do this every now and then, like they did to the old talking engines, like Thomas, Percy, James, and Diesel, as well as the classic ones like Gordon, Henry, Edward, and some others that I could can't even think about right right now. Now I said I won't make this video too long, but. You just really might know the drill by this point. So I am going to be making into two parts like I do into every single review. So I'll catch you later.